So welcome to my channel, that's what we call Dribai. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my allotment and also my home garden and I'm going to be showing you the greenhouse. Um, it's a lovely sunny day up at the allotment and we've been doing loads of weeding today so I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I think you can hear a robin in the background, it's probably got more energy than I've got at the moment. <laughs> so let's start heading around and I'll show you what I've been doing and also um, what it all looks like at the moment. So we really tidied up the root bulb this morning, so that's one thing we did. And um, there was lots of weeds growing in and around it, it was getting really untidy. So we just pulled out all the weeds um, that were around it. And I'm going to be putting some manure on that when we get some. We get some delivered up at our allotment, but unfortunately we haven't got any at the moment. When it arrives it goes quite quickly because everyone wants some. But as soon as there's another lot um, delivered, I'm going to cover that with manure because I always find that really helps. Um, you know help the helps the rhubarb grow really really well so it's all looking a little bit tired and a little bit untidy if anyone's been up their allotment i'm in their home garden recently and thought oh God, why am i doing it honestly i felt like that this morning when we came up here it was like where do where do we start do you know what i mean but the work you do now will really help such a lot for the for when the spring hits it really does i dug this area over um, over the last month or so and I'm really glad I did that so it just shows what you can do and it's a really good time to be doing stuff up the allotment because the ground is soft I know it's hard work but it's easier to do it now than it is to do it in the spring trust me so my garlic is coming on nicely and my onions are just starting to shoot through as well so they're coming on quite nicely I pulled quite a lot of my beetroot and I've made quite a lot of things with it and a lot of my carrots but I've still got a little bit left I've not touched my parsnips yet um, I'm not entirely sure what they're like. I've not even been brave enough to have a look, to be honest. So we've tidied up all in and around the blueberry area and put another blueberry in recently. So we've got four now. I'm going to top that up with some more soil. I get the special um, soil for that, especially for um, blueberries, the, the ericaceous compost. So we'll be putting that on shortly, but we just need to take a trip to our local garden centre to put some on. I also pulled up my fennel because the frost will, will get it soon if, if I don't. So I've been eating a lot of that. So I cut off my um, kales because unfortunately I had really bad white fly and I've got some more at home in my greenhouse, which I can show you when I get back there. The leeks are coming on really beautifully and I could start digging some soon, but I'm probably going to wait a couple of weeks before I do just to let them swell out a little bit more. And when I do start digging them, I'll dig the bigger ones first. So this is the area which was like, oh my word, we've got down. This is where my squashes and pumpkins were. And it just seemed like an utter weed fest. I mean, sometimes I put weed suppressor down and make holes in it and plant between it, but I didn't this year. And in fact, I haven't for the last year, a couple of years, and it's been fine. But this year, the weeds in between have just gone absolutely bonkers. So we've pulled out most of the weeds, which is really tiring in itself, and we've started digging it over as well. So there's definitely at least another couple of chunks of work here left to do another couple of mornings but yeah if anyone wonders whether it's worth it it is definitely worth it but it's not part of the dream unfortunately but we all just have to get on with it and do the digging so as we move over we've taken the bean um canes down because the other day we i don't know where, what it was like where you were but we had a really strong um storm um which threatened to like bash them all down so we just pulled the canes out and we just need to take those beans up to the composter but we haven't done that yet but we will do we just didn't want the canes to get ruined so as we move up we've got some lovely chard here it's a really good addition to the garden if you've not got chard it just goes in so many things you know stir fries salads you know all sorts of things you can use it for stews you know curries you name it it's such an easy thing to grow um, and if you get the bright lights charred like I do, it's just so incredibly colourful as well. So I've still got my broccoli in, even though it's been in for ages. I'm getting lots of side shoots off of it. Not so much now, so the time might be coming soon where I may very well decide to, to, to dig that up. But quite honestly, I've got enough digging up to do. So I'm going to concern myself with that first and then move on to other things later. Um, I do need to get this finished. This is where I had the corn that unfortunately the badger's got. I'm planning, I've got some brassicas in my greenhouse which I'm thinking of putting in here so I need to get that cleared as well which isn't such a big area but it's a little bit fiddly because it's a little bit enclosed when you get in there so um but that's that's a job that I need to do so as we move up obviously all these now I've not pruned my black currants and my gooseberries I do need to do that and my raspberries I've partly pruned some of my raspberries I think 
but I've not completely finished. So there is plenty for me to be getting on with um, in and around my garden. Now I'm gonna head off back home and we can see what's going on in the greenhouse. We've got some exciting things coming on in there and um, which I'm looking forward to showing you. So we're now back home in my home garden. So the sub pod area is, I've mainly just got herbs and my marigolds in there. All the beetroots that I had, I've pulled up. So I've actually got a little bit of space there. So I could maybe put another herb or something in there. Things st st sting seem to stay a little bit warm there i think because of the composting system and um, because last year i had coriander right through the winter so maybe i'll get a couple of coriander plants and pop them in there i need to take my beans down so i haven't got around it's a wonder the wind didn't take these down the other day but i definitely need to get these down now and save any beans if i'm going to dry them my bunching spring onions don't seem to be bunching absolutely no idea never grown bunching ones before so i'm just pulling them as i'm needing them really they're just a little bit oversized which is fine Still perfectly good anything. I make the decision to um, put up my tomato to the really composting because we we'd had so much rain they were just splitting. You know, I had a little bit of blight on them as well, and I just wasn't really gaining anything. I've left my aubergine plant, albeit this, believe it or not, is one aubergine plant. I've left this. Oh, I'm going to take some of the bigger ones off today, and I can't believe we're in November. And I've still got some decent sized aubergines. It's honest, quite honestly quite amazing. Oh, and I've got a pepper there. Um, I'm going to leave these little ones on here just to see if they do swell out a little bit more. But I'm going to keep a bit of an eye on them because I don't want them to go. They, sometimes they kind of like go mouldy almost. Um, or start to decompose on the plant when they've had enough. So I'll take these ones off that, that are good. But I've still got quite a lot of little ones on here. I mean, I've probably got at least a dozen. So I'm going to leave them a little bit longer. But just not too long but probably in the next week or two i might end up pulling this because the plant's looking a little bit shabby but my word has it done well so many aubergines off of it i don't know if you can see i've got some wild rocket growing there so i'm just going to leave that if it wants to grow that'd be some useful stuff very 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 hardy wild rocket so that'd be an extra bit of salad for me during the winter so as we move over i need to tidy up the strawberry plant area a little bit windy there and I've still got plenty of chard here as well. As you can see, this chard's kind of like a much further on than the other chard. A um, bit more thicker and a bit more chunky, but still all perfectly good eating. I have a little bit of chard at home, just because it's just so easy to, to put in something if you need some veg in a hurry, you know, rather than having to go up the allotment. So let's have a look in here then. So as we can head in, and down here, I've got a selection of different salad leaves. Um, I've got some curly leaf, I've got some mizuno, I've got some pak choy along the back. So there we go. I've left the pepper in, even though it looks a bit sorry for itself because it's still got peppers on it. So I'm just going to let, let that stay in there for as long as I can. And I've reluctantly left my cucumber plant. I couldn't bear to pull this up because I still had some cucumbers on the end. Although to be honest, I probably will have to pull it up. They probably won't get any bigger. And I did take all the tomato plants up because I didn't really have many tomatoes on them, to be honest. It was just filling up space. So I just popped my tomatoes down there just to ripen them up. And as you can see, some of them are starting to ripen up. I don't think they all will, but hopefully some of them will. And they stand more chance in here where it gets a nice bit of sun than it does anywhere else. So I've got some lovely kale coming on here. So I've got two types. I've got some red kale and some green kale. Unfortunately, the red kale doesn't seem to be doing so bad. I've got some bugs on it. Not entirely sure what's going on there. But the good news is, is the green cow is doing absolutely fantastically. So I'm going to have to start to decide what I'm going to do with that. I might keep some in here and pop some up the allotment under cover. Um, but they are looking absolutely beautiful, as are my purple sprouting. So when I got these as well, they're very, very tiny. I didn't hold out much hope for them. <clears throat> they were 50p reduced, um, but they're actually coming on really beautifully. So I'm going to be putting those up the allotment under the, um, the arch cover that we've got. When they get a little bit bigger, I think they could be too easy slug fodder with them lovely and tender like this. So they're going to stay in, in here for now. And we've also got some lovely peppers here still. So with a rogue spring onion in there. So I'm leaving those in here for the time being, but when it gets too cold, I will pop them on my windowsill and I will um, leave them in there probably. They're a Hungarian hot wax. I've had some lovely chilies off those already and there's still quite a few lovely chilies coming already. 
And as we pop over here, I've got some broad beans coming on and some peas. I've got two lots. I'll save one set a little bit sooner. So we've got two lots of aquadulce broad beans there and some early onward peas there, which are just popping through. And also another set here, but I didn't plant those quite so soon. So as you can see, they're starting to pop through, but they've not quite made their way through yet. So if you're not sure what to um, sow or plant at the moment, we have got a video which will be put up on the screen and you can watch that. So it'll give you some ideas of what you can be planting and sowing at the moment. And there is still quite a lot. Now, I hope you've enjoyed um, my tour around my allotment and my home garden. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, if you could please do so. And if you've got any questions or comments, please do let us know and we will answer all your comments.